the past year and a half has been transformative for organizations on a global scale. You know, we went from our daily commutes to the office, to commuting from the bedroom, to our makeshift living room offices. Uh, it's funny because somebody even say that pants have become optional. But in other words, we got used to this new way of working. And as we're slowly moving to a post-pandemic lives, organizations are facing a challenge. Can they implement work from home policies or do they need to have everyone back in the office permanently? For many employees, working from home is now something they've gotten used to and want to keep doing permanently. And others kind of want to go back to the office as soon as possible. According to the latest research, it's estimated that around 70% of workers want a mix of both working environments. They want this hybrid workplace. And you know, it is no wonder that 66% of employees are redesigning in order to fit these requirements. But such a transition requires fundamental changes in the way we work and collaborate. Organizations need to equip employees with the right technology to support collaboration and productivity. And among so many technological solutions, Microsoft Teams has emerged as a clear winner. Uh, the platform went from 30 million daily users to more than 145 million in a span of less than a year. Right? And the most defining features of Teams beyond meetings, calls, and such revolve around organizing projects or relationships into Teams and channels. So Teams provides the ability to collaborate in documents with internal and external users, the ability to add applications, boots, and connectors to improve productivity. But while Teams has been transformative, the rush deployment, you know, has had many uh, visible limitations from the get-go, especially when we consider governance and adoption. If your organization deploys Teams and does not set rules on how Teams are created and who is responsible, you'll be in a surprise of a data chaos. When users are left to their own devices, they will create multiple teams for the same project with the naming conventions and structures that simply you know, work best for them. And the situation might be an easy fix if you're working only on a single project you know, or a few of those. But when you're working across hundreds and thousands, like many organizations do, it spirals into a digital nightmare or what we call a data chaos. Data chaos impedes system adoption as users will not know where to place data, opting to create their own folder structures and save documents in their local drives. But this, on the other hand, also makes it difficult for risk management teams to find content, understand business context, and apply the right security and minimization policies. As a result, organizations become vulnerable to data breaches and non-compliance. You know, and hybrid work can make these challenges worse. And there is no wonder that there is this pressure for efficient collaboration without data chaos because it becomes so critical. But the solution to this is simple and starts with provisioning. Provisioning enables organizations to create approval workflows so that users can request to create teams, channels, workspaces, folders, and more across collaboration platforms such as Teams, you know, SharePoint Online, and their document management systems with standardizing naming conventions and folder templates. As such, users know where to place data and one team exists for one project. By adding this rich custom metadata, users can also filter and search for relevant content and risk management teams understand the context so you know, they can apply the consistent security and minimization policies. Organizations maximize their investment in collaboration systems such as teams and the benefit is that also governance is improved. It is no wonder that provisioning has become the foundation of mitigating data chaos and powering governance across an organization. So how do we help? Our software as a service platform for adoption and governance, Prospero Camp, is here to save the day. CAM enables organizations to provision, classify, protect, move, and minimize data across collaboration systems, mitigating data chaos and reducing risks related to privacy and cybersecurity. With CAM, organizations can provision Teams, channels, SharePoint sites, OneDrive folders, OneNote planner, lists, tabs, workspaces, folders, documents, internal and external users and groups in various systems. They can add rich custom metadata for context and easy content location, grant, manage, and revoke permissions for users and groups, 
do bulk updates for metadata and security, generate detailed analytics, reports, and even view audit logs and set data minimization policies among the various capabilities it has. You know, but let's first take a look at how CAM provisions themes and makes it easy for users to find relevant content to collaborate. Through the CAM app in Microsoft Teams, users can request to create a team with specific client or project names and numbers and channels and folder templates. They can then add internal users to a specific team with role-based permissions and provision external users for optimized collaboration. Once the request has been approved, users can see the team in their team's interface. CAM also enables organizations to provision custom applications as a tab, such as a document management system. CAM allows organizations to add rich custom metadata to teams and channels, which help users search and filter data to find the relevant ones they're working on. Looks really easy, doesn't it? Well, click on the links below to learn more about CAM, schedule a consultation with us, or simply read more from our best practices and lessons learned. Subscribe to our channel for more similar content.